Global warming due to climate change presents a challenge to agricultural industry. The productivity of banana depends on climatic conditions, mainly temperature and water, as drivers of crop growth. Banana is a major staple food crop, providing food and income to more than 25 million rural and urban Ugandans throughout the year. However, banana farming entirely depends on rainfall to provide the needed soil moisture for banana production. So we decided in this area where we have this plantation right now, that we would bring these hybrids to, to the hot spot of drought. And we selected two districts in the Kato Corridor, one being Sembable and another one being Ngoma in Ntungamo, where we are right now. So what we have here is four varieties, four of our best varieties that have been released and we are testing them in the hot spot of drought. As a result, extreme weather conditions such as drought negatively affects a production and consequently livelihoods of those who depend on bananas. Uh, in Goma sub-county, we have over 2,000 banana farmers. Goma is well known uh, as a, a drought uh, area. Uh, for example, from every, every year, almost on average, every year from uh, May to up to October, we experience uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, sunshine, and it really affects all the banana plantations. Majority of cultivated East African Highland banana varieties are susceptible to moisture stress as a result of drought, leading to up to 65% yields loss. The project, therefore, aimed at identifying a climate-smart banana with optimal market potential. This would be achieved through the diversity search in the released hybrids and already existing banana varieties preferred by stakeholders of the banana value chain. We are addressing different problems for banana, which are mainly diseases and pests, but also looking at innovations for value addition so that the farmer can get a lot more from the banana than just the, the fruit. Some of the major diseases we have been working on in, uh, in creating these hybrids is uh, diseases like black cigatoka that attack the, the leaves, diseases like the weevil which attacks the comb, diseases like nematodes which attack the roots. Now in developing these hybrids they are an improvement of our local varieties, the local matoke varieties, which means they are hybrids of cooking bananas. We have uh, distributed them in different parts of the country. One, we, we released these varieties, the first varieties were released in 2009, 2010. So in the last 13 years, we have released seven varieties. And these are already distributed across the country from the east to the west, um, southwest and even northern Uganda. Now everywhere we have grown these varieties, the farmers have confirmed to us that they actually do not get decimated by disease and pest, but also they are tolerant or resistant to drought in a dry, in a, when, when the droughts are long. As we know, we have been having very long droughts and these are affecting many crops, not only bananas. I've, I've grown banana for over like six years. But uh, within a period of like uh, one and eight months, uh, I, I got support from uh, the people of Kawanda who gave, uh, who gave me these banana plantations. And uh, I'm happy because they are growing on very well. The bunches are very big. And uh, for a start, some people had uh, not liked the bananas, but now, I can see so many people coming to take the to to take the banana suckers. Are they the banana suckers to plant their uh, more plantations? So it shows me how good the bananas are. Uh, so far, it's a, a period of one year and uh, four months. We've been uh, when we we received these plants. And people keep on, other farmers, because of uh, what they are seeing, other farmers 
uh, keep on going to the farmers we, we gave and they keep on correcting some more plants to plant. So far we have over 100 farmers who have already uh, established uh, gardens and we encourage more and even more are interested uh, to get uh, more plants from the farmers uh, which, we, which we received. A survey conducted in drought prone districts of Sembabule, Isinjiro and Intungamo along the Kato Corridor identified improved hybrids as resilient to drought while Matoke variety Mpologoma was worst hit by drought. Okay, so the, what we have here is a, is a variety called Mpologoma and it is one of the varieties that is heavily affected by drought. And, and this particular one is a typical example of what happens to the plant when it is affected by drought, like it is dry now. So the way the fruit comes out, you see it is packed in the tip of the fruit. Ordinarily when it comes out, it will come out fully. But the, the, root, the leaves pack themselves at the tip of the plant and the fruit does not come out properly. In many, in many occasions, sometimes the fruit comes out from the middle of the stem when the plants are heavily affected. Yeah. So the difference you see with these other hybrids that are tolerant or resistant, you see they have come out normally and you don't have that problem. Recently, National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO, released Amatoke hybrids, Cabana 6H, M9, Naroban 3, M25, Naroban 4, M27, and a Naroban 5 M30, whose yield is above 50 kilograms with preferred sensory attributes resistant to pests and diseases. I've not sold any, but the people who come on my farm, they like the bananas because of the size. So I'm hoping in the future, the market, if it is there, if you support us, if the people of Kawanda can support us and the government and they put for us a market, people will, will be able to buy because they like the size. What we are expecting to see is a distinction between our local varieties during the dry season and the hybrids as you see them. The advantage that they have is that because they don't suffer from disease, they, will, they have a lot of leaf cover the root cover is they, 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 they also have root mass and as a result they are able to retain nutrients and and and, uh, and absorb a lot more water and they last during the dry season the uh, we have in this area we have 20 farmers and these are our these are our sites where we are doing this evaluation and at the end the plantations we have are already more than a year Farmers have, the contact farmers have already harvested them, they have already eaten them, and as we can see, we are at the peak of the dry season, and these varieties are resistant. They are already showing tolerance and resistance to, to, the, to the drought. Evaluating, selecting, and promoting such elite varieties for drought tolerance is an incentive towards a sustained income and food security in drought-prone areas in Uganda. And each farmer received 100 seedlings. They brought them when they were, uh, you know, uh, uh, small. This is a, a tissue, a, a tissue culture. Actually, some farmers from the beginning thought, ah, these ones are going to die. But luckily enough, they are doing well. Uh, the criteria we followed to, to select these farmers, uh, me as an agricultural officer, I looked at the area. And, I, and I, together with the narrow team, uh, we selected uh, farmers from all the parishes. We have six parishes, uh, though most of, most of the farmers are in one parish, which is uh, near the sub-county. Because the original, the original criteria was uh, we get farmers near each other. But the, in our own wisdom, we found it uh, okay to distribute it in other parishes. And really this one uh, came up as a, on, on a positive note because now it becomes easy for me to go to a certain parish and uh, get farmers in a particular field to train them, to show them, it becomes easy for me. So at the end of the day, uh, it, it worked. These hybrids we received in Ngoma sub-county, they are doing very, very, very well. 
and really people are appreciating it. Yes, we have our local, uh, our local varieties uh, around, but when you look at the local varieties with these hybrids uh, Naro uh, gave us, uh, really the hybrids are doing well. The sunshine, whether it is too much, they grow on well, while the other local ones, when it is a lot of sunshine, it dries up. So that is the difference I've noticed. Such improved varieties or hybrids have been tested for drought resilience under field condition and are intensifying sustainable banana production in the region, maximizing land and labor use amidst biotic and abiotic pressure, hence the climate smart banana cultivars. Yeah, in case, in case uh, someone needs seed for these varieties, one in the communities where we have these varieties, farmers distribute seed to their fellow farmers. That is one. But farmers can approach, should approach their uh, district officials. Every sub county has an extension officer. When they approach their district officials, they will inform us and we point them to where to get, where to get this seed from. We also work with the private tissue culture laboratories who are distributing these varieties so they can go beyond uh, beyond the sites where we are doing uh, we are doing these evaluations. In Intungamo, for banana hybrids M27, M30, M9, M25, and one local Czech Mpologoma have been evaluated in 20 farmer managed fields. Farmers in Intungamo district say the new banana hybrids are good for the market, are large in size, and they test good on eating. Yeah, I've tested in all types and uh, I found the matoka very okay. Actually, when somebody, ha when somebody has not told you, you cannot even notice the difference. They are as sweet as the local ones. The National Agriculture Research Organization, NARO, is significant in contributing to productivity acceleration and commercialization of bananas in the country. Through the National Banana Research Program, it has and is continuing to put in place evaluation fields with host of farmers in districts all over the country to promote technologies that enhance the contribution of banana value chains for food security and agro-industrialization. In Intungamo district, the goal to deliver drought-tolerant varieties to the farming communities is progressing well and some host farmers have already harvested and tested the bananas. Naro therefore calls upon the public and farmers to embrace these improved banana varieties and intensify their banana production and productivity. With these hybrids, a farmer is assured of high yields, resistance to pests and diseases, and optimal market potential.